So now we'll add files to your Mendeley library and I will do two types of files in inverted commas. So the one is a file where you actually have the PDF copy of the file that you can actually add to your Mendeley library. And then another will be where you don't have a PDF version of the file. So maybe you have a hard copy of a book on your bookshelf and you want to reference that in your document, I'll show you how to add that manual entry or if you've maybe found a website that you want to reference, you can't import the reference into your Mendeley desktop, so you will then need to manually add the details for that particular website. Again, if you have a Word document, I would recommend that you convert that to a PDF file before uploading it to your Mendeley library. We'll start with a PDF document. I'll start with a normal journal article. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to use this little drop down arrow or to just click on the add button. And I'll maybe just stop here for a minute and say that it is good practice to save all your references to one folder on your computer. That way, if you add a document to your Mendeley library, you don't have to look for your documents all over the place. So when I save documents from my Chrome browser, I have all my Mendeley files in one folder like I've done here. I'm just going to choose the first article over here and then click open. So there you see this document has been uploaded to my library. Another way of doing this is simply to drag and drop it from the folder where it was saved. I will also just mention at this point that you are able to add multiple documents to your Mendeley library at the same time using both methods. So if you are starting out with Mendeley and you've already got a lot of PDF documents that you've saved to your computer, you can literally just highlight or select all of them and then you can drop them all into your library at the same time. So if you go to the bottom right corner, you'll see a little arrow that you can click on. And if you click on one of your documents, you'll see a few details that Mendeley has captured based on what it thinks is in the document. If you actually want to see what is in the document, you have to double click on it and then Mendeley will open the PDF for you. Sometimes the metadata of an article is incorrect. Maybe the title of the actual article doesn't match the title that's in the metadata. In that case, you would need to then go and correct the title in this right hand pane over here. However, it is good practice to always double check that the details are correct as soon as you load your document into your library to avoid having to do this afterwards which can cause quite a bit of work at a later stage. Okay so I'm going to start at the top. The first thing you need to double check is that you've selected the right type of document. So based on the type of document you choose Mendeley will add or remove certain fields from this right hand side pane here. For instance this is a journal article therefore we have a space to put in the title of the journal where the article was published. If you, for instance, load a book, there will not be a space to add a title for a journal article, but there will be a space to add the publisher of the book, which you can see is not here for the journal article. Another thing with this is if you've chosen the incorrect type of document, then it'll also come out incorrectly in your reference list. If you know the rules of your particular referencing style that you are using, so let's say you are using APA, you will know that APA has a different style that they want to see in your reference list. So if you have a journal article that you want to reference but you've saved it as a book, it's going to come out as a book in your reference list. So you don't want to do that. So make sure that you have selected the right type of document. If you don't know what you have, it's always good to select genetic or sometimes I select report if I don't know what it is. This is a journal article, so I'm selecting journal article. You can see that the title that is here matches the title that is on the actual journal article. The authors, there's only one author of this article, it is Debbie Budlender. And I want to remove the name of this author just to show you how to insert an author in Mendeley. You'll see that the little yellow box here gives you instructions, so it has last name, comma, first names. So this means that Mendeley wants you to put in the last name of the author, then add a comma, and then put in the first names. And the first names will be in italics. If you don't do this, Mendeley will not 
be able to distinguish between the last name and the first name of the author and it might then come out wrong in your referencing. So for instance, you will know that you use the surname of an author in most referencing styles. If you've added the name and the surname as the last name, then that's how it's going to come out in your bracket. You don't want that, so make sure that you've correctly captured the name and the surname of the author. So you can see here, I've put in the surname, then I've added a comma, and then the first name is in italics. If your first name is not in italics, then it's going to come out wrong. If you have more than one name, you can just add it to the list. Another thing to note here is how to add more than one author. If you have more than one author, you just need to press enter and then add the name of your second author. Okay, so the name of the journal has been captured correctly, World Development. This is an article that was published in the year 2000. The volume number is 28 and the number is 7 and the page numbers are correctly specified. You will see here that Mendeley has picked up the abstract. When you go through these fields, you want to think about what it is that you will need in a reference list. So in other words, think about how your reference is going to look based on the referencing style that you are using. APA, for instance, wants the surname and the initial of your author. Then they want the date, they want the title of the article, they want the name of the journal. Then they want the volume, the issue number and the page number and then a DOI or URL. APA will not need an abstract. So if there's no abstract picked up in Mendeley, then you don't need to copy and paste the abstract into this because it is not necessary for your reference list. If it is here, however, you don't need to remove it because it won't come out in your reference list. You can add tags if you want. Again, this won't come out in your reference list. You can also add the author's keywords if you want. This will not come out in your reference list. And then you will see that you will need either the DOI or the URL, depending on the reference style that you are using. If you are using APA, you will definitely need one or either of these. You can see that Mendeley has already picked up the DOI, so I don't need to add this in. If it's not there, you will need to either find the URL for the article or find the DOI for the article. Okay, so next I want to add a different type of document. I'm going to add a working paper. So you can see here that Mendeley thinks that this is a journal article. This happens often with working papers. You've got to make sure that this is correct. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose working paper. And you will see that some of the fields have now changed. The first thing I'll check is the title. Uh, that is correct, although there is a subtitle that I'm going to add. Then Mendeley has picked up the correct author name. I'm going to remove the series title. And I'm going to add it to series name at the bottom here. Then we need to check in which year this working paper was published. Okay, it's a 2005 working paper. It doesn't need an issue and page numbers are irrelevant because it's just going to be page one to whatever. Generally, if your document is not part of a series of documents like an issue of a journal, then page numbers sort of become fairly useless because you'll just have page one to whatever. However, if you want to keep the page numbers, you are welcome to do so. The next thing that's important with a working paper is the city. If you don't know where the working paper was published, you can just choose the name of the city where the institution is based. We know that the World Bank is in Washington, D.C., so I'm just going to add Washington, D.C. here. The next thing that's important with the working paper is the institution. So we know that this is published by the World Bank. And the working paper number is 3496. If you have the URL for the working paper, that's good. You can add it. If not, it is not a necessity. That's how to add a different type of document. And you will see here that there are many types of documents that you can add from magazine articles to conference proceedings to statutes and television broadcast or a thesis. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a manual reference where you don't have the PDF version of the document available. 